Hey guys, um, what we're going to do in this little quick video is show the trailers that can be attached to each other. And I'm assuming the way that I've got a little train here done is that they can be attached in any way. Uh, the, the trailers that are attached to me can all be attached to each other or to themselves. You can make a train as long as you want to. The trailers that you see off to the side over there are all the ones that have more than one wheel next to each other. They're all dual axle, triple axle, and stuff. None of them will seem to attach for some reason. I haven't figured out quite the real reason why. A lot of people say because they have the, the lifts, but if you can see, this one does too, and it's a straight axle trailer, and uh, it can still be connected, although they can't. The only differences I really see between them all is that all of these are either single or dual dual axle trailers, but they're all single axle in one at one end. I don't know the difference what it's called, but all of these trailers all have at least dual axle, and the dual axle is either on the end or together or more or whatnot. So uh, that could be why. Maybe they just made it to where they couldn't. Maybe they didn't think anybody would connect them together. I don't know. But all of the ones that have these fold-down arms that lay down on the ground can be connected to each other so far. So what we've got here is we've got that uh, uh, the crone Emblin or whatever, Emblin, whatever it is, the initial starter tra trailer. And then we've got the Crampy Kipper and the uh, Agro Liner uh, by Kroger. This is a smaller Agro Liner. If you look at them, there's several. Uh, that's this guy. I think. Yeah, this guy. Notice how it's got the uh, front V. Uh, and if you look through the rest of them, they've all got double axle or something, and you know they can't be connected to each other. Um, none of them can. Uh, I did not try the uh, what are they called? The I'll find them here in a second. The loading wagons. But as all the loading wagons have dual axle or more, I just uh, assume that they cannot. I know that I did try and connect my. Uh, I've got the uh, Chrome ZX 550 on my my farm and it's a triple axle deal and I have tried connecting it to other things and it won't. Uh, there are a few uh, I would assume also that the bale trailer will connect here look, we'll buy one and set it up and check real quick just to be sure um, and I, if it will I'm pretty sure this one will they both have the front v-neck that lays on the ground so uh, uh, there's a harvester the uh, Pottinger Mech 6 it will connect to a, a vehicle behind it because I had connected it to the uh, the mixing combo, the mixer that you use to uh, feeding technology. I had connected it to the Profile 1880, and it will connect to something behind it. So you can use that harvester to connect to a trailer, to, as I've shown you in the past, to harvest. Uh, so let me uh, reset that other trailer back to the house. Let's go. Uh, let's go get it. We'll try and connect it to the front since it's an easy-to-drive trailer. So let's jump in this. Now, one thing that I noticed is that it still only shows up to four implements, even though I've got six attached uh, to behind me. So make sure that you, you... And it does tab to them. Yeah, it's going to them, but it's just not showing them. So make sure you count if you want to disconnect your train. Make sure you disconnect the right one. Um, we're going to connect over here to this little blue trailer and back it up to that one real quick and see if it'll work, and then that'll be the end of this video. Um, the next little video that I'm going to do, and I might add it onto this one, we'll see, is uh, placeable objects, how to do that. We'll learn how to do that together, because I've never done it, but it's pretty easy from everything that I've seen. All right, so let's run this sucker over here. Hopefully I've had enough practice with all these other trailers to where I won't just totally screw the pooch on it. But, uh, let me back out some. All right, so let's go slow. There we go. Let me back out and straighten up some. There we go. A little bit more. Oh, shoot. All right, I'm going to pause the video and do this because it might take me a few minutes. All right, so as we can see here, it's up against it, and it won't allow me to connect it. So, nope, on the bailing trailer, it won't let you. Um, but them other three groups, or the other three types, apparently, are the ones that will let you. So, them are the ones you were asking on the forums, you know. So, there you go. Them are the three groups that right now that can be hooked together. And then we can uh, run our little train all around town here if we want to. 
these little old dinky ones on the front don't like being up on the front but there you go if you ever want to train around in multiplayer or make you a video of your own little trailer train you can hook as many of them together as you want to I don't know how many you can pull I guess it all depends on the power of your tractor uh, this ain't a great tractor but it's a pretty good tractor and uh, it'll pull them so let's pull in six and it's pulling them at about 20 miles an hour and it only does 30 so it's only reducing it by a third not too shabby all right hope you learned something I did have a good one all right guys I'm going to add on to this video since that other one was pretty short and we're going to do placeable objects so to do placeable objects you hit P and you scroll through the top up here through your different uh, your things you'll start here by sorted by machine type so you go over like four times you find what you want to use uh, what we'll do is we'll lay down the B house first so you hit by and it brings you to this overhead view it'll start out pretty close to where you're at um, you can use the up down left and right arrow keys to move as you see me doing now you can move it around on the screen with a mouse if you put it somewhere where it can't be placed it'll tell you cannot down here on the bottom let's see there it is can't be placed here so once you find the location that you want you can scroll your mouse wheel forward or backwards to zoom in and out you can also use page up and page down to do this at this point what you can do is hold a or D to rotate the object around so you can get it at the right angle of what you want to put it and then you left click and you've bought it now be careful because you're still in this purchase mode it shows you how much money you have up here in the top right and you'll just keep putting them down so click the back button at this point and uh, we can go on to the next thing uh, the bee house requires absolutely nothing you just lay, lay it down and uh, see how it says right there which is done automatically it automatically gives you money so for every one of them you put down you get thirty dollars an hour the maintenance it costs you eight dollars a full day so thirty times twelve what three thousand three hundred yeah three hundred and sixty a day and you pay eight dollars a day so it's not a bad little investment if you you know go off the bat with it at the beginning uh, here's a greenhouse tomatoes maintenance ten dollars a day maximum income eighty dollars an hour uh, you can cultivate tomatoes you need to uh, s provide it with fresh water and manure as a fertilizer now we've went over the manure in multiple videos but it's made by putting straw at the cow pen and you can go there and you can pick it up with a front end loader after you've accrued a little bit of it and you can uh, put it in vehicles that will let you carry that uh, I don't know which ones will but I think the fertilizer spreader should or if not you can just heap it up somewhere and tote it I don't know that that I'll leave out of this video because I'm unsure of it anyhow uh, greenhouse tomatoes you would hit buy comes up notice this one's a good bit bigger than the B the B one again a and D rotate it insert I mean page up and page down zoom in and out or you can use the mouse wheel move around the screen with your mouse or up down left right arrows just like the last one find somewhere to place it and we're gonna place them all out here kinda close to each other that way we can uh, we can go look at them after we after we've laid them down alright click the button one time and then another one pops up in case you want to do multiples or you can hit back uh, that greenhouse that I laid down does tomatoes uh, you can do lettuce you can do herbs uh, they're all the same only thing that's different between them is what the final selling product is and they look a little bit different they gave them a cool little look solar collectors these are a lot more expensive but what they do is you lay them around and the money automatically goes to you and the energy it just disappears they, it's like you're selling the town extra money same thing with the wind en energy converter if you notice the only difference between these two other than looks is the amount that they uh, require you know this one produces 2,000 which is why you pay 1.2 million takes you uh, a month or so worth of use maybe a couple months of actual real games days to switch in order to make your money back off of it and then actually start you know accruing a profit this one's a little bit quicker uh, it's only you make 190 an hour so you make you know a couple thousand a day and uh, over you know what 70 days or so you, you'd make your money back if you wanted to go that route um, I don't have enough to buy that one yet so let's uh let's go into the shop and we'll, oh, I was in the shop we'll go uh we'll go sell something real quick so I can lay one down you can see it I do not have enough <laughs> enough stuff 
two other we'll just sell the tractor sell it that's quick oh well, wait where am i going all right here we go animals placeable objects so let's lay a solar down and these are, are funky but they're small at least and we'll put it over here on the other side of the greenhouse now these i don't seem to be able to a and d to rotate because they have to face the sun um maybe that's why makes no sense to me you should still be able to uh to rotate it but you can't apparently so yeah i'm trying everything nothing a and D won't rotate these. So the solar panels you can't rotate, and that's probably just so that you can line them up and you can make a big, you know, solar thing or whatever, one of them solar farms or whatever you wanted to do. Now, I don't have enough money to lay another one, of course, so let's back out. Let's back out. Let's tab over to one of our vehicles that are there, buy them all. We'll shift and hit tab. That's another thing that some people don't know is that tab goes forward through to your vehicles, and if you hold shift and hit tab, it'll take you back through your vehicles. Now, uh, it's in your hotkeys. You can set it to be whatever you want to, but that's the default. Now, these are actually pretty good size, you know, pretty good size little building. I don't think you can go inside of it, but we'll see. Oh, yeah, you can. Isn't that awesome? All right, so yeah, you come inside. You can look at your tomatoes or your, uh, yeah, this one was tomatoes, I believe, and you can watch them grow. Now, this is your beehive. You can hear the bees, homemade honey, and look at the bees flying around. That's pretty cool. I doubt you can go inside this, though. Yeah, no. And then you have your solar panel over here, which you, I'm sure you can't interact with at all. Looks like a real solar panel, though. Or, well, pretty close. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of kind of cool. I guess you could lay a bunch of them down and make a bunch of money off of them after, you know, a long make-your-money-back type phase after 70 days or so of real game days. Anyhow, there you go. That's how to place them. That's how to rotate them. That's how to lay them. You put them anywhere on the map you want to. Um, as you saw, it pops up and lets you do it. So, you know, like the beehive, I would advise not, not piling them around your farm because, you know, I mean, you're, you're going to want to drive in these places. So you can buy a field, I believe. Um, no, you can't even put them on. Let me find a, see if I got a field that's yeah, you can lay them on your field so long as there's not something that needs to be picked up off your field, maybe. Yeah, it's letting me now. Okay, yeah, there was hay on the ground there, and that hay was stopping me. So, yeah, you could lay them all in your field if you wanted to. Maybe buy a field and put a bunch of these things down or, or, or put all your stuff in one field, you know, to keep it neat. Anyhow, that's the end of this video. Uh, hope you learned something. I did. Have a good one.